Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to bridge assets from Ethereum to the Moon River network using the Meter Passport Bridge. Before we get started, a few quick things to go over. Remember that there are inherent risks of using bridges. Make sure that you understand these risks before proceeding. Secondly, this video is not meant to be an endorsement of any particular bridge, but merely a tutorial showing you how to use it. So to get started, let's head to passport.meter.io. And next thing we'll do is connect Meter Passport to MetaMask. First, we'll unlock our wallet. Then I'll choose which account to connect. In this case, that'll be account four. Press connect. Remember that we're always gonna be connected to the network that we're gonna bridge from. In this case, that's Ethereum. So our MetaMask is connected to the Ethereum network. Now let's choose which network we want to bridge to. In this case, that's Moon River. So we'll go ahead and select Moon River. And here you'll see that you can bridge a number of different assets across the bridge, not just ETH, but you can also bridge any number of assets and a number of stable coins, including USDC, USDT, and DAI. For the purposes of this demo, we'll be sending over 0.01 ETH. And here you have a checkbox saying, I wanna send funds to my address. You can also choose to send funds to a different address, but make sure that you are correct in which address you're sending to because any bridge transfers are irreversible. For this video, I'll be sending to the same address. Make sure you pay attention to the bridge fees at the bottom. So the bridge fee here is 0.005 ETH. That means that when I go ahead and press start transfer and I confirm it, the amount that shows up in MetaMask will not be 0.01 ETH. Instead, it will be 0.015 ETH. So don't be alarmed. That's just the number that includes the bridge fee. So once this looks good, we'll go ahead and press start transfer. Please make sure you review the pre-flight check information. I'm gonna go ahead and press start transfer. And I'll confirm the transaction. Remember that bridge transfers involving Ethereum require at least 25 block confirmations before the transfer is complete and you see your assets on the new chain. So while we're waiting, I'll just go ahead and check my address on Etherscan. And we can see that the first part of the bridge transfer has occurred. So the funds have left my wallet. And I will also open up my account on Block Scout so I can see when the transfer comes in. And our bridge transfer is complete. Let's go ahead and check Block Scout, and I'll refresh the page with my address. First thing you notice is a transaction for 0.001 Moon River. This is an airdrop to help get you started on the Moon River network to be able to make a swap or do any other type of transfer. And we'll go ahead and press tokens. And you can see here that we have our wrapped Ethereum 0.01 wrapped Ethereum. You also have 10 MTRG. This is an airdrop provided by the Meter Passport Bridge. Lastly, let's add these tokens to our MetaMask. Earlier in the video, I said that you had to be connected to the network you wanted to bridge from. So we're currently connected to Ethereum mainnet and I actually reset my MetaMask before this video so I don't have the Moon River network listed here. So what we can do is we can go to docs.moonbeam.network and here you can click connect MetaMask and we'll choose Moon River. We'll press next, connect, and we'll press approve. And this will automatically add the Moon River network to our MetaMask. And I'll press switch network. And now you can see that we are on the Moon River network in MetaMask. So let's go back to Block Scout and let's go ahead and add these token addresses. So I'll go to assets. I'll press import tokens and paste the contract address. Click add custom token, import tokens, and you can see we have a balance of 0.01 wrapped Ethereum on the Moon River network. We can also add the MTRG token, following the same steps as before. And we can see all of our assets here on the Moon River network. So to wrap it up, in this video, we were able to bridge 0.01 Ethereum from the Ethereum network to the Moon River network. And along the way, we picked up a couple of airdrops. We also connected our MetaMask to the Moon River network 
and we made sure to import these token addresses so we can view all of our assets on the Moon River network in one place. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.